Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the Windows 11 nag screen. Uh, if you guys are new to Windows uh, 10 and have never seen this screen, uh, you need to keep an eye out for it because uh, it's kind of deceptive and it may trick you into upgrading to Windows 11 if you do not want to. Uh, so this is what I got on my screen this morning. It basically, you know, had the get and schedule it button here on the upper right hand side. Uh, and then here on the uh, bottom left, it has keep Windows 10. So obviously, if you uh, want to keep Windows 10, you're going to click on that one. Now, in the past, it would just be this window here. And that would be it. You know, you wouldn't see another nag screen. Now, what it did this morning to me is that once I did that one, I got this screen here. So if you get this one, you want to want to be careful because they highlight this one to kind of, you know, probably try and trick you into clicking on that one instead of the decline upgrade. So those are the two you want to hit. You want to hit Kip Windows 10 on the uh, first screen and decline upgrade on this second screen. And that will get rid of the, uh, you know, that nag screen. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how to get rid of that completely by uh, making an entry in your registry. So in the description to the video, I posted this up here. So this is actually the Way the registry file looks but go ahead and copy this part up here and then we're going to paste that into the uh, reg editor so go ahead and hit your windows key and the s key bring this up and just type in reg and it should bring you to this spot here go ahead and run that as administrator and as you can see i've clicked here i've done three uh three entries on here so i'm going to go ahead and delete those and just show you how to do those one by one uh you may or may not have you know entries in here but these are the three that we want to focus on for uh, this one here so before you even get here just word of caution go ahead and go up here and you want to back up your registry click on computer you're going to go to file export and you're going to give you know whatever name you want original you know whatever you feel like uh, go ahead and save that and it may take a few seconds depending on how big the registry is once that is done saving we're going to go ahead and start from these steps so you're going to go ahead and copy that entry from the description you're going to paste that right into the search bar right up here and then once that's done just go ahead and paste that in there go ahead and hit enter and it should take you to that spot i showed you earlier so once you're here now that you've backed up your registry uh we can go ahead and continue with the steps so the first thing we're going to do is right click on this spot here we're going to create a uh, d word 32 bit value go ahead and do that and then we are going to give it this name right here so target release version we're going to rename that to that once you've done that we're going to go in here and change the value from zero to one so we're going to double click on that and that value data we're going to change to one we're going to go ahead and hit ok and now we are going to create a new string And then we are going to give that target release version info as the uh, name. And then once we've done with that step, we're going to open up that file. And we're going to type in 22H2. Uh, and that's obviously if you want that to be the last uh, version of Windows that you use. So 22H2, we're going to... Uh, double click on here and type that in here then once that step is done we're going to go ahead and create another string value and we're going to name that product version and then once when we're done renaming that we're going to type in the value section we're going to type windows 10 so go ahead in here and we're going to type in windows 10 right here So once that is done, you should see these three entries on here, the way they look on the screen. And just so you guys can see, I am going to show you what the uh, update screen would look like. And this is probably going to uh, look similar for you guys. If you have not done this already to your computer, you're going to see, you know, the uh, entries on here. Your computer is, you know, uh, available to get Windows 11 and so forth. Uh, you won't be able to get rid of these on here, but it will get rid of the nagging message up here and it will stop it from uh, 
hopefully ever showing up again. So once you've done that, just go ahead and uh, close out and those settings should be on there. So what I'm going to do here, just to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take these back out. Since I already have the registry, uh, you know, back up for this to work, I'm going to show you now, if you go back to the uh, Windows update screen, it's going to look like so. So you can see here, this is what I was telling you guys about. So you'll probably see that on there. And again if that's active you're probably going to get those two nag screens you know in the near future now like i said if you want windows 11 that's fine you can go ahead and uh ignore this but if you do not windows do not want windows 11 this is what you want to do to stop it from popping up and i am going to go ahead and just execute the file here so we'll go to my desktop So this is the registry file we just created. And now that that's done, we'll go back into the Windows update. And as you can see, that is no longer there. So that should stop that from ever showing, you know, that nag message. And also from the uh, screen popping up with those two nag screens. So that is it for this video. If you guys make use of that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, also leave that in the description. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a great one.